Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I am today being live and I would like to invite you to stay with me. I would like to share with you what I have discovered about why speaking a negative sentence is actually an affirmation. This is part of the material that it's going to come from the life language training and I want to share with you guys because I have been doing a lot of video and affirmations and affirmations commands decrease it's a technique that is normally used in spirituality you can also share your point of view and I do have scientific experiments that prove and corroborate if that's a correct word what I can see in the energy I know sometimes if you have done love attraction, maybe you all have a love attraction station in spirituality. They say that when you speak no, the universe do not listen, but they actually don't tell you the why. It's just because energetically it is. It's because universal law. But I found actually the scientific community, it's doing a lot of experiments that prove what psychics know, what the energy know. So if you would like to have this information, ask questions, or we're gonna do a light language transmission, please stay, comment, let me know how is the sound. Share the video if you think it could be helpful for someone else. And let me have a second to check right here your comments thank you thank you all for being here well this is something that i will explain and i will get my magnets and i'm gonna ask all of our higher selves that in whatever way the information comes through that's actually helpful and beneficial for all of us for whoever is drawn to and only in the highest and best. And I do have a few pending questions from the live that I did yesterday. If we have time, I would like to answer. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. I had a grand intervention in 2014. Out of the blue, I begin seeing angels, faces, shadows, auras. I wasn't meditating, I didn't believe in God, I was just only going to church on special occasions like funerals, weddings, stuff like that. I didn't know what's happening to me. So it's different when you sense first and then see that when you see first and then sense. I couldn't sense anything, I was completely blocked. I had no foundations to understand what I was observing. And obviously, what I was seeing in the energy, it didn't make sense in the way humans who were behaving. And that didn't make sense either. And it took me a while to understand that energetically, you see the true, the true essence on it. So I have my magnets here. I love it. I use it on myself. It's a healing technique that's amazing. But this is going to be for example. So let me put an example. Let's say that you're talking about gender, right? It's very used in English. And you say, gender, it's sitting on the chair. And that will be a positive statement. Yeah, you're affirming that she is. So let's say that this is gender, right? This is the yes. She is sitting. I'm going to get this one. Oh, sitting right on the hold on <laughs> on the share so this will represent that in your brain a program a download a pathway of energy stream is going to be highlighted right this is clear scientists know that psychics know that we'll just explain that in different words but what if you said, because I know it's very popular to say, I don't consent transhumanism. I don't consent AI. I don't consent this. I love that non-consent mm, movement. But 
when it's your framing in a negative sense, you also affirm the negative and the positive. And I'm gonna explain you why. If I change the yes for the no, I will send gendo, it's not sitting on the chair. But I'm still highlighting a gendo and the chair and the action about sitting. So let me say that I said, I don't consent that I'm going to be forced to be vaccinated because it doesn't go with my beliefs. So maybe I will send, I am the orange, don't consent being vaccinated against my beliefs, right? But I'm highlighting in my brain vaccines against my beliefs, I Regardless of this is a yes or no, the elements are still being active. So when I said, I don't want poverty in my life, right? I'm saying, I don't want poverty. So guess what? The universe actually here, I want poverty. But if we rephrase it, we will say something like, I do want the opposite of poverty. So instead of saying the negative thing you don't want, just have to rephrase it and say, I am open to receive all the richness in the world that is available to me. Then that will be a positive affirmation that will be coherent physically, mentally, emotionally, and in all ways. I hope that makes sense. So we are decoded, whether we know that or not, we believe scientifically, I mean, psychically or scientifically, it's, it's a thing, it's a fact. That's why we have programs, we all have different programs. So your brain, it's the instrument of your mind, your consciousness, your ego, who you are, will be highlighting behaviors, beliefs, all day throughout what I speak and what you speak and the meaning we give to those things. Because if I say something like, oh my God, the world is rolling, right? I said, the world is rolling. But I'm not talking about that we are rolling, that in fact, Earth it's rolling. I'm talking about maybe that the world is messy. So it's not about what I said or how I said it. It's about the meaning that I give that is going to highlight a pathway in my chakras, an energy field, a stream. Sometimes we're going to say things like, I don't know what, every relationship I have, they're all narcissistic, right? In this case, I'll be saying, I don't know why I only have narcissistic, but my energy is really saying, I know why I always have narcissistic. Yes. So I do think the no should be out of our language. And it's something that I've been practicing on myself. And part of is all of those affirmations and codes and videos that I am doing trying to rephrase and it's not about faking it either guys spirituality being fake it doesn't work either because in your energy the truthness will be vibrated so it's okay to say let me say that i said i don't want poverty in my life but then if i'm aware i'm gonna say okay Maybe a part of me feels that I want poverty for some reason. So I would like to rectify that stream and said, instead of that affirmation, all that I want is to receive what is available for me in the one order that will be abundantly shared with ease and grace. So when we are aware, we don't create karma, we don't create course, we don't create blocks, we don't hook with unnecessary situations. 
we are able to rectify instantly in a way that life will feel good, maybe the majority of the time. And this is something that scientific can prove. Maybe you guys have heard about Renee Brown and Chomsky, there are other scientific that score George Lakoff, that they talk about how language limit the expression. And sometimes if you don't have the language that can explain exactly what you feel, that creates distortion in your electromagnetic field that even a scientific like Einstein knew we all had. Science cannot explain exactly what that is. That is what you and I call prana or she, your key, your Holy Spirit. But we do have a field that's around us all the time. That's your aura, spirituality speaking, that is connected to all that it is because everything will have that electromagnetic field, all its energy. My house, my car, my clothing, the colors that I use, the vibe that I have, what I'm going to eat, the way that I'm going to breathe in, maybe it will be exhausting to pay attention about everything, but the more aware I am when something do not feel good, the better that we can instantly rectify because the best meditation, guys, it's been present. It's not about putting a YouTube recording or doing something ritualistic. It's about being here and then being commanding in your energy what you want and what you choose to shift into something that you prefer the most. Why light language? I do think it's a technique that everyone should use. It is because it took aside the barriers of limitation. Does ever happen to you that something amazing happened and you don't even know how to describe it? You don't even have words that matches what you felt within? I have had that like a lot. And sometimes between neither in Spanish or in English, I do have the capacity to organize it in a way that mirrors a bit the sensations in me. A light language gives us that because it plays us out the conditions, the frames in which we are programmed. And it will just be assimilated organically to your energy, to your body, to your soul, to your spirit, but also to all else. Because light language is able to merge different meanings, like, for example, in art. Have you ever seen... For example, once I remember that an artist uh, draw a woman, but it was half woman, half rose. So she had torns on her body and, and then the rose was coming from her head. And it was representing, I guess, sadness because of the expression of it. So this is what light language will do in you. You don't have to understand everything. You don't have to know exactly the word, the meaning, because it will naturally come to you. It will work from your conscious, subconscious, and all aspects of you, including the multidimensional ones, to bring just what you need, just what is needed. And let me see if you guys have comments on it, because I had some comments. And questions from yesterday. Thank you, Vanessa, Luis, Conception. Thank you. Uh, and let me see. Do you guys have any questions? So hot, I appreciate. I cannot. Thank you so much for being here. Sound is good. Thank you. So practice. Every day and every moment, for me, I put this here and this remember me to connect whenever I see my arm, then I said, oh my God, I, I'm not connected. So then I go within and then I ask myself, okay, Greg, where are you? Right? Are you here? Are you on the path, my Twitter and the worry or, or in which heart I am? So it remembers to be connected, but at the same time, be aware about every word you said, 
or you think it is actually not something that is intangible. It will be physical through your body because if you observe something that represents sadness, you observe it and then you will feel it. You will begin to cry or tear up. So vision and action and emotion are physical inside of us whether something that you observe even if it's not real maybe it is a movie i remember that when i saw titanic at the end when i was in the old couple that they were going to die i wanted to cry and i knew it was fake and i knew it was a movie and i knew it was a cheesy story but somehow i empathize in a way that i wanted to cry so for my body that sadness it was real it didn't make sense if it was a movie or not be aware that we feed ourselves not only because organic food or supplements or vegetarian very special food i also feed myself from stress from what i observe from the news that i'm seeing from whatever i hear from whatever i talk to myself and the choice it's in every moment the choice about tuning into the perception that works out for you. Let me see, because the rest of the information, I will do it in the video for the course. Did you guys have any questions? If you don't have, then I'd love to do a short black language transmission just to adjust and recapitulate anything that we could be vibrating whether that it is in your thought patterns that are very physical in your body in your feelings in your voice in what you hear in the things you don't want so those commands can come in a positive form with coherence in all aspects of you okay So connect in whatever form that it's easy and I will just do like language. So you receive what you need, what is in divine order through your own universe of consciousness and try to practice through your own senses and your own psychicness what it is the message for you that it's been spoken but actually not in any language that you may know. Mea seri koro va ti so kore te hara o ko va i na ya sera kore vari eshka Vuti is sekor oma niena ti sekovate ara osova iti eshna va aniasa te ikiana heya vaidesa kuni a te kesakoro havati a sakova niene heka tesoro vari irieshka. Breathe in and out, breathe in and breathe out and ground. I'd like to say thank you for joining me and appreciate the time of your day that you took. I hope this was helpful. If you have any question or any other team that you would like me to be a video that hopefully will be helpful for all of us, I will serve as to you real to connect and to keep learning all together then you guys can type that on goingquarterfrequency.com there are few discounts that i do have in my website for the new course about sex sexuality that is going to start next week for five days in zoom 
if you type encoded 777, you guys have, I guess, 50 or 40 percent. But there are many other new services in the page. Enjoy your week. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you.